Hi, Cinexoft here. So I'm going to do a quick review, or not radio review, but rather I will show how what Jingbox Life looks like. So it's a Rockship dual core set top box. It looks standard, but it's 350 US dollar, apparently because you can access live TV. Uh, so yeah, I've connected HDMI, Ethernet, and uh, USB power. And there is Wi-Fi, but I won't use it. Okay. So this is the remote. There are many buttons. But most of them are useless. Okay. So the user interface looks a little bit like Windows 8, if you ask me. Okay. Uh, now I already installed the live TV application, Crack. My normally here in this section is a video and you can access your local files via USB or SD card. And there is a YouTube application pre-installed, Vimeo, Yulu Plus and uh, the settings is a standard uh, Android settings. So I've connected through Ethernet. Okay, and it's connected just fine. And if we go to about device, we can see it's Jingbox Live V2, Android version 4.2.2 .2 with a kernel 3.0.36 plus. Okay, I'm not sure much else is interesting. Okay, and since there is a SPDIF port, you are supposed to be output to SPDIF as well as HDMI. Well, I haven't tried this. Okay, uh, just a quick look at the YouTube application. Okay, it's like this. Uh, it's very difficult to use. Uh, you have to switch to the mouse pointer mode uh, to be able to select videos. And to be able to go to full screen. It's hard to use. No. Oh, well, no, I cannot go full screen. Okay. Ah, I missed it. Okay, I go there, I go down, up, I click, I give up. Okay, so let's go to the home screen again. Remove the cursor. Yeah. And. I'll show you the Jinx market. Uh, there is no Google Play Store and you just get a few applications available. I will show them all because there are so few Netflix, Shadowgun, Skype, Ustream, Vimeo, World News, Live. Okay, so there's not so much to it, but the main selling point is the live TV application. It does not work for me. Okay. So you are supposed to have uh, 300 channels. But here I only have 10. And it's just buffering and it doesn't work. Uh, maybe it's because I stay in Thailand and the IP is, this IP is blocked. I don't know. So that's all for today. Bye bye.